to another edition of Living Inside Out, where the kingdom of God is within you. You know, we've got a guest here, Brother uh, Linton Gunn, and we have had a powerful study so far. Go yeah. back and get the first teaching, The Enforcers. Amen. It is important to enforce in our own lives mm -hmm. the authority that's been given to us, yes. delegated to us. Yes. Brother Lenton, would you like to open up with prayer today? Father, we just thank you, Lord. We, we worship you for who you are. We thank you for this Bible study. We thank you that revelation will come forth, Lord, by the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord, that as we leave and when we finish, will we be hearers and doers of yes. your word. You said that any man who hears my saying and doing them is blessed in all his deeds. So, Father God, have your way in this study. We will say what you want us to say, and we will do what you want us to do. And we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, Brother Lenton, we've been talking yes. in depth about our delegated authority. Yes. We've used Luke 10, 19. Yes. This is Jesus speaking. Mm -hmm. Behold, I remember, I think it's still made, that furniture polish called Behold, mm -hmm. <laughs> and the advertisement on TV. Uh -huh. They would show this woman mm -hmm. shining this piece of furniture, mm -hmm. and then she could see her image mm -hmm. after she uh, polished her furniture. Mm -hmm. Is that not what the Word of God does for us? We yes. see our image in there. Amen. And I like that because when we read the Bible, I look at it as Jesus talking to, to me. me. And I make it personal. Yeah. So when I, you know, when I look at what Jesus said, Jesus said, behold, I've given you, Charlotte, authority yeah. over all the power of the, of the devil. Behold, I've given you, Dennis. Behold, I've given you, Linton, authority. And I read and read it, and it becomes real to me. Like, wow, he's given this to me. The same authority that he had, yeah. he's translated and delegated it, transferred it to to us, mm -hmm. but but do are we really walking in authority? Mm -hmm. Are we really seeing the manifestation of that? A lot of, and that's why this study is so important because I want to tell the viewers: don't never say, "Oh, I've heard that before." Yeah. I've heard that before. No, because you keep hearing it and keep hearing it and hear it, and then it becomes revelation or becomes rhema or becomes real for you. Yeah. So don't say with the attitude, "Oh, I've heard authority before. I've heard that. I've heard that a million times. We've heard great teaching on it." But sometimes we got to keep hearing it over and over sure. and over. Revelation is repetitious over and over and over. When our favorite scripture in Raymond, Romans 10 and 17 yep. says, faith come by hearing and hearing. hearing and hearing. That's a continual process. Yeah. Hearing by the word of God. Yeah. Well, you know something? You said something that I thought of this. Uh, now, tonight, mm -hmm. we're going to throw some steaks on the grill. Amen. Now, have you ever had steak before? Yes. Love okay. it. Okay. <laughs> now, when I asked you about steak, mm -hmm. you didn't say to me, oh, I've had that before. Amen. <laughs> I like that. Ah, uh, you want another? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So, we need to approach the Word of God because the Word of God is really our life. That's right. It contains healing, medicine, yes. wholeness, wellness, yes. soundness of mind. Yes. And so, just because, well, I've heard that before mm -hmm. you quoted the scripture mm -hmm. hearing Hear present me. tense amen it is always present tense yes one of god's names mm -hmm. when he sent moses moses said well who shall i say sent me i am that i am not i was <laughs> not i'm going to be faith is always now, now. present now mm -hmm. so we we're going to throw some steaks on the grill tonight and we've had steak before but mm. i imagine we'll come have on it now. again come on now <laughs> amen <laughs> amen turn that down just because that's we've right. had that before mm -hmm. so, so let's go ahead I'm one sorry. thing about and that and that's one thing about it revelation is continual and i like it's like uh you Present water yeah you, know, you water you water you water yeah. and sometimes you go out here and you might plant something you might plant a a flower or something, but you got to water it daily, daily, daily. And then you may not see anything grow for a long time, but you just keep watering it. You keep watering it, keep watering it. And all of a sudden, you might see a little bud come up. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then you keep watering, you keep watering, you keep watering. And all of a sudden, you'll have that harvest. You'll have that manifestation. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do is that we're just trying to teach you something that, that you may have heard already, but just keep hearing it and hearing it and hearing it. And my prayer is that this teaching become real for you. Yes, amen. 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 Let's look at Genesis. Now, mm -hmm. this is the Young's literal mm -hmm. translation. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that translation. Yeah. Verse, uh, chapter 1, 26 through 28. Mm -hmm. And God said, 
Mm -hmm. Now this is God. Mm -hmm. Let us, mm -hmm. the Trinity, mm -hmm. make man in our image, mm -hmm. according to our mm -hmm. likeness, and let them, mm -hmm. let them mm -hmm. rule. Mm -hmm. In other words, here's another, here's a, a first time of bequeathing rule and yes. dominion. Yes. Let them, he didn't say, I'm going to do it. Let them That's right. rule, rule, That's right. rule. Mm -hmm. Now, sometimes we give words like that a bad rap, mm -hmm. but there's a positive side to that. Yeah. To that. Let them rule mm -hmm. over fish of the sea, yes. over fowl of the heavens, mm -hmm. over cattle. Remember mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jacob with the cattle mm -hmm. and the threw the stick in the water. Mm -hmm. What what was that? Well, mm -hmm. Dominion. Working working for Laban. Working for Laban. Laban kept changing his wages, mm -hmm. so it didn't look good. Maybe you're on a job, mm -hmm. and you're you feel like you're getting uh, the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. Well, there's some revelation for you. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean you have to quit that job. Mm -hmm. Do you know God uses jobs That's right. to advance people and for you to create the blessing right there where you are Amen. so more jobs can be created in that community? Do you know that? And there might be somebody on that job who needs to see God in you, the love of God. Yeah. They may not go to a, a church, That's right. but the only God they may see and a person may be through you yeah. walking in love. I know for, I worked for a guy back in Illinois and this guy, well, he was a, um, he was assistant vice president and he'd always come down. He was just an angry, angry man. Didn't want to have anything to do with the Lord. But I remember one day his, his daughter was in an accident and he came up to me, he said, brother gun, Linton gun, could you pray for my daughter? Now he, he, he was an atheist. He saw something. But he right? saw something. Yeah. And I always walked in love. He'd come in cursing and swearing. And, every, and all, everybody was always on pins and needles. But he saw something. Yeah. And I prayed with him. I always walked in love toward him. Yeah. yeah. And I planted a seed. I don't know if he knows the Lord, but I know I planted a seed in him. Good for you. Amen. Good for you. Amen. Sometimes we want out of that job. Yes. Right? Oh, <laughs> oh, let your light shine. Uh -huh. Let your light shine. Amen. Over all the earth. Mm -hmm. Now, we've heard it said many times. We brought this up before. Mm -hmm. God's in control. Mm -hmm. Do you know the scriptures don't teach that? That's right. That's a kick. Don't, because he just said here, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, and let them. That's rule. right. Let Come them, on now. Them. Come on now. He didn't say, I, you shut up and do as I said. You're kicking a kick, sacred cow over today. Yeah. That's a teaching that God, you know, we hear that from Christians. Well, I just believe God's in control. God's in control. But Genesis, it is, it's a mess. That's right. He said, God said, this is what God spoke to Adam. I will make you in my image. Yeah. You're going to be the God on earth. Everything that I have, I'm going to give to you. Yeah. That's what he's telling Adam. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So when you say God is in control, no, he's given us the authority. Yes. He's given us the ability to change some things. Yes. And, it's, and people say, well, does it change God? No, God doesn't change, but it changes me. Yes. And it changes the circumstance. Yes. God says, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forever. And people say, well, can we change God? No, we can't change God, but we can change the situation, and we can change ourselves with the ability to deal with the situation. Yes. Through the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. Amen. Well, you know, uh, Laban mm -hmm. made some uh, very profound statements mm -hmm. concerning uh, Jacob. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he said, I see that God is with you. Yes. Amen. Well, mm -hmm. how did he see that God was with him? <laughs> and did, did Jacob argue with Laban when, you know, he said, well, I'll take uh the these certain cows mm -hmm. you take these mm -hmm. and but see god had a plan for that's him. right he had a plan that's right but without walking closely with the lord that's right we don't tap into that that's right and if we don't tap into that mm -hmm. and then things don't amen work out the way according to the promises of god we want to lay it on god that's right say well you know uh, Here's, here's a very misquoted scripture. Mm. Well, you know, all things work together for the good. Yes. That's not a scripture. That's <laughs> not what that scripture says. Romans 8, 28. Yes, I've always misquoted. Go ahead. <laughs> it's to those who love, who love, love God. God. 
Who well, have a call according to his purpose. His purpose. <laughs> so what's Come your on purpose? Out. That's right. Have you spent enough time with him to find your purpose? Mm -hmm. Do you know your purpose? Mm -hmm. Jesus said, I only do what I see the Father. That's right. Do. So he knew his purpose. Mm -hmm. One time he said he knew where he came from and he knew where he was going. Mm -hmm. What a profound statement. Mm -hmm. And what an authoritative statement to make. Amen. I know where I came from. I know where I'm going. That's right. And I like what you said, Charlotte. Have you submitted your purpose for his purpose? Right. Has there been a divine exchange? Okay, Lord, not what I want, yeah. but what you want. Yeah. And it would not so what so when you've done that, now you're one with him. Yes. Because his it says desire, you know, trust in the Lord for all your heart, lean not to your own understanding. Have you totally, totally, totally given your will and your desire and yeah. exchange it for his? Yeah. Yeah. And you know, that takes a uh, crucifixion of the flesh. That's right. Um, we've got to be willing to accept this uh, worldly idea mm -hmm. that we don't have all the answers outside mm -hmm. of God and we don't know everything. Mm -hmm. And just because we've done a particular thing for 20 years yeah. doesn't mean God doesn't have a new way for you to go in this morning and uh, do your job. Mm -hmm. And we've got to not lean on our own understanding like Brother Lenton said. Mm -hmm. And that's a willingness. Yeah. That's something That's that a it's a cooperation. You know, yeah. we're called co-laborers. Co-laborers. Co mm -hmm. Not him working single-handedly because this scripture tells us, let us make man in our, our image, image. Mm -hmm. our likeness. Yes. And let, let, let. See, that word let mm -hmm. is a permissive word. Permissive word. word. Let mm -hmm. Well, just because somebody lets you, maybe as a child, mm -hmm. lets you uh, go to the store. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you're going to go to the store. Maybe you don't want to go to the store. Mm -hmm. Just because somebody lets you as a child, your parents let you ride your bike, maybe mm -hmm. you don't want to go ride your bike. Mm -hmm. But this is, this is uh, mm -hmm. important stuff here. Let them have rule. We've got to take acceptance Amen. of that. Amen. We can't just say, oh, no, God's in control. No, he's letting us have authority. That's right. Letting us have rule. And over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Mm hmm now, you know, mm -hmm. we're in Oklahoma, mm -hmm. and some people call it Tornado Alley. Mm -hmm. I've heard yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, we've had a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. right here on this property mm -hmm. for tornado. They've gotten quite close several mm -hmm. times. And Denny and I mm -hmm. go out, and we speak That's right. to the storm. That's right. Now, s too many times, I think we've got confused with different types of prayer. That's right. Do you know taking your authority and speaking to yes, the storm is yes. a form of prayer? Yes. It's an authoritative That's prayer. That's right. That's right. You know, God said, command ye my word. Mm -hmm. Command. Yes. Now, that doesn't mean we boss God around, <laughs> That's right. does it? No. <laughs> Amen. But we Amen. take that word and we command the circumstances that are for destructive purposes mm -hmm. to line up with the word of God, which mm -hmm. is always peace. Right. We spoke earlier mm -hmm. about earthquakes. That's right. No destruction. Mm -hmm. There's good earth, good, some good earthquakes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amen. But, you know, we've got to accept the responsibility of God letting us have rule. Mm -hmm. That's mine. He's let me. I'm going to exercise that. So we've had opportunities for tornadoes to just run through here and mm -hmm. destroy everything. Mm -hmm. Hasn't happened. And, it hasn't and, happened. And you know, and, and we go back in Mark 4 when Jesus got on the boat and Jesus yeah. said, let us pass over to the other yeah. side. And well, then that was a declaration. That's a declaration. Because Jesus is the will of God. He's only going to say what he hears from the Father. So the will of God is to go over to the other side. Right. Jesus speaks and he walks and goes to sleep, goes down on the ship. Yeah. And then a huge sudden storm. And many uh, theologians believe this was a huge tsunami. Now, yeah. these men were fishermen. They knew this lake. They knew uh, the, the, the tendency. Yeah. But they had never seen a storm of this of magnitude. This magnitude. Yeah. They awaken Jesus, and Jesus says, peace be still. But look, notice what he says, Charlotte. Where is your faith? Yeah. Why are you so fearful? Yeah. Not only did they forget to use their authority, but they forgot who was in the boat with yes. them. Yes, yes. They forgot who was in the boat with them. He had given them, he had talked about the parable, about, you know, the word, and he had given them authority, but they forgot their authority, and they forgot who was with them. Well, you know, something else that they, they 
overlooked. Mm -hmm. And this happens a lot, mm -hmm. as, as we were saying earlier. Mm -hmm. We've got to approach the Word of God as though we're hunting. Yes. We want yes. to find something. Yes. And so they, for, they, they forgot, first of all, their spiritual authority. That's right. And watching Jesus, because he first spoke to the unseen realm. That's right. Amen. That's the first realm that's he right. spoke to. That's right. And so that's really what we do when we speak to the tornado. Mm -hmm. That's really what Jesus did when he, in the uh, uh, Gospels, when he asked uh, the, addressed the uh, demons in this man, and yeah. he said, who are, what is your name? That's right. He wasn't asking that man. That's I right. I need to see some identification that's good teaching. here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He wanted, what's your name? Mm -hmm. He spoke first to the unseen realm. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, as enforcers, God has made us enforcers, we get trapped in fighting people. Yes. Rather than fighting spiritual wickedness in and heavenly I, places. Amen. And we don't take authority mm -hmm. in the unseen realm. That's right. And we wonder why things don't change here. Mm -hmm. yes. We were talking about, um, or I was thinking about this. Mm -hmm. For example, um, if there is a geographical area, mm -hmm. and we know areas like this exist. Mm -hmm. They existed in um, when Jesus walked the earth. There mm -hmm. were certain uh, demonic activities and mm -hmm. forces over certain geographical Amen. areas. Mm -hmm. So Jesus went into those areas, but he spoke to that unseen realm. Mm -hmm. He took care of what was not seen mm -hmm. before anything, expecting anything to change in what was seen here. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't we be doing the same thing Amen. today? Well, well, instead of fighting people. That's right. Well, the Bible clearly tells us: declare a thing that shall be established. Declare what God has spoken in your ears, out of your mouth, and it shall be established. When He cursed the fig tree in Mark yeah. eleven twelve, the Bible says the roots in the ground withered away. Now that was the unseen realm. We couldn't, yeah, couldn't see, couldn't it. see that. But notice this, Charlotte. Jesus spoke. And he went his way. Yes. He didn't look to turn whether to see whether the fig tree was had dried up. Yeah. Now, when he spoke, the the roots were dot in the, uh, in the ground, which is, represents the unseen realm, were gone. But the next day, the manifestation, they came yeah. back and they said, Master, the the tree that you have spoken to has been cursed. But notice when Jesus spoke a word, he didn't go to look to see whether it was it was happening. Right. It was already done in the spiritual realm and is waiting for the physical manifestation right. of it. Right. Mm. Well, there you go again. The power twins, faith yes. and patience. That's right. Amen. And, you know, Jesus didn't say, hey, somebody, why don't you guys get a shovel? Mm -hmm. And let's <laughs> let's see uh, if this stuff really works. Amen. <laughs> and yet we do that, but yeah, we do that unconsciously. Mm -hmm. um, like healing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen this a lot in healing. Mm -hmm. And I've done it. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of doing it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm healed. Let's check. Let me check. <laughs> Let me check. No, I'm healed. Uh -huh. I'm healed. Whether I check or not. Mm -hmm. The manifest, I've got to speak the word yes. go my way. That's right. Go about my business. Speak and go your way. Yes. Look at Jesus. Look at Paul said in Corinthians 4, 18. While we look not at yes. the things which are seen, but, but, I, but we look at the things the things which are seen are temporal, yeah. subject to change, yeah. temporary. But we look at the things which are unseen, for they are eternal. Yeah. So the, the, that's a principle there. We speak the word of God, and we let the Holy Spirit bring it to pass. Yes. If we say what God says, it ain't for us to worry the when, the why, right. or the how. Okay, Lord, I said what you had to say. I believe it by faith. You bring it to pass. Yeah, yeah. Well, isn't that what Jesus said? It's my Father in me. He does That's the work. right. That's right. He does the work. That's right. That's right. And you know, that relieves us yes. of all the burden. Yes. I wonder when this is going to yes. happen. I wonder how this is going to happen. Mm -hmm. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Mm -hmm. And it relieves us of the mm -hmm. responsibility, and we cast mm -hmm. that care on Him. Mm -hmm. We speak the word. Mm -hmm. We release our faith, and we release the word, which is mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. And then that life is ever bringing about yes. constantly in the unseen realm yes. the manifestation. Yes. The manifestation. What about Daniel when he prayed? Amen. What about that? 
prayed and didn't get didn't see a physical answer. Not, no. But notice the angels said, "We have heard from you from day one, yeah. and we have come for thy word." Yes, yes. Thy word. Yes. <laughs> they, yes. So the, so the angels were dispatched already when Daniel prayed according to the will of God. Yes. But I like the parable also of the farmer who plants a seed, and the Bible says he plants a seed. And he sleeps night, day, not, not knowing how. Yeah. Doesn't know how the, the, there's going to be a harvest. He's done what he's supposed to do. And now he says, okay, I'm going to sleep night and day. But I know this seed that's planted, which is the word of God, the seed is the word. Yeah. I know that, that this seed is going to come to pass. Yes. Sleeps night and day, knowing not how. Then he goes out there and it's a harvest, the blade, the ear, and the full yeah. corner of ear. Yeah. So that's what the word of God is. The sower souls the, the word mm -hmm. continuously it's not for us to figure out how god is going to do it we just have to say okay god you said yeah. that you've given me authority over all the power of the enemy and i just have to believe it by faith yeah. out of my relationship with you through the lord jesus christ yes. through the word yes. through the holy spirit yes amen living from the inside out yes. hallelujah yeah. <laughs> yeah well that's what we're doing we got um, a spiritual gps yeah <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, if a, if a goose gets lost, there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, they know just what mm -hmm. to do, mm -hmm. what direction to go, and mm -hmm. when to do that. But I like what you just said, Genesis 126, Charlotte. God, and God said, it, is what, it wasn't like secondhand information. Right. It wasn't like, something. yeah, it wasn't like um, I, it was secondhand. I didn't hear it from somebody else. It said God literally spoke to Adam. Yeah. But I will has to be involved. God yeah. said, let us make man in our image. He's telling him, I'm making you, Adam, just like me. Mm -hmm. Same thing, same attribute, same authority. And you go name the animals. I, I'm going to give you authority. You go, whatever you name the animals, that's what they're going to be called. Hallelujah. Ain't that awesome? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting also. What a, what a nurturing and loving yes. and uh, providing father that we yes. have. He created everything yes. before Adam. Yes. So that Adam would have all this yes. stuff. Yes. Yes. All these things mm -hmm. so that there would be no toil involved. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't the creation wouldn't be left up to up to mm -hmm. Adam. Mm -hmm. And so God brought these these things to Adam already created. Already created. Ain't and that? said, What do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? What do you want to call mm -hmm. What do you want to call your right. life? What do you want to call your job? Yes. What do you want to call Amen. your ministry? Yes. What do you want to call yourself? Mm -hmm. What do you want to call yourself? Ain't that powerful? He gave him authority, to whatever he said. Yeah, and he trusted his word. I remember the Lord told me, he says, it is what you say it is. It is. <laughs> Life and death are part of the tongue. Yeah. So Adam had the ability and the authority. And God spoke directly to him, the relationship they had. Ain't that powerful? Well, you I'm know, look about that. There's a principle involved there. Mm -hmm. God doesn't override our free will. That's right. Whatever you choose to Whatever call you it, choose. he's mm -hmm. not going to say, oh, mm -hmm. no, I, no, mm -hmm. no, no. That's what your life becomes, mm -hmm. what you choose to call it. Mm -hmm. That was the names of these animals mm -hmm. was the choice that Adam made. That's and right. God didn't get into contention with mm -hmm. him mm -hmm. over that he mm -hmm. honored adam's work and 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 i and i look at that that whatever god whatever god told him adam did it but god didn't go back on it right he said okay you want to name this animal a tiger it's a tiger right. whether whether i agree with that or not it's what you say it is yes. adam ain't that powerful yes it whatever is. animal whatever whatever thing what you want to call this a river you want to call this a now river we'll call it now whatever you say i will back it up yeah and that's what authority is because it's not in us it's who backs it up yes hallelujah we got the holy spirit we got the father g god the father jesus the son we got the holy spirit our authority is because of who is backing it up you know the, the, the situation about the policeman the policeman has a badge but he has the authority of the state of where he is yep. he has a local city to back up what's on that badge that badge in itself can't stop a car that badge can't stop uh, a truck but it's the authority it's who's backing up that bad. Yes. State of Oklahoma, yes. the city of Broken Arrow, the city of uh, Coweta, wherever we are, it's the, the, the person or the persons behind that bad that has backing up, that's giving him authority to do what he can do, to, to enforce that law. 
Well, isn't there um, some sort of, there's got to be something in writing, a mm -hmm. contract, Amen. there's got to be a licensing, a, mm -hmm. um, there's got to be uh, tests that are taken. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't just go in today and say, you know, I kind of, I kind of like that policeman stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. There's certain requirements That's and right. principles That's right. that have to be met. Have to be met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The same with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe, for example, uh, you're broke, financially broke. Mm -hmm. Okay? Sow some seed. Man. Get that principle of mm -hmm. sowing and reaping. Mm -hmm. Mark chapter 4. Mm -hmm. The entire kingdom of God is based on that one principle. Whether it's sowing money, whether it's sowing kindness, whether it's sowing hospitality, mm -hmm. it's sowing and then reaping. Mm -hmm. And it's expecting that, for example, when you put your money in an offering, mm -hmm. don't ever look at that bucket again like, well, there that goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that's gone. Mm -hmm. Ooh -wee. But you no, know, it's planted. That's right. But you look in Galatians 6, 7, he said, Whatsoever man soweth, yeah. which means continually, that also shall he reap. Mm -hmm. So we go back in Genesis, we see in that seed time, every seed produces after, after its, its own time. kind. So the, the principle of seed time and harvest goes back to Genesis. Yes. But a lot of us have been taught incorrectly on it. And, uh, and also, too, they haven't gotten revelation on seed time and harvest. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The money preacher, money preacher. They no, want my money. They want my money. But planting in good soil and waiting faith and patience for the harvest, God's word is going to produce what it says it's going to produce. Of course. Because the Bible says that the word of God is the incorruptible seed yes. that liveth and abideth forever. God's word is incorruptible. Mm -hmm. So the God's word is going to produce exactly what it says is going to produce. But has it become real to you? Has it become personal to you? Have you received it by faith? And do you receive it by faith and patience? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Well, the incorruptible seed. That's right. Where there's no corruption. Oh, none. When you, for example, mm -hmm. plant a financial seed, mm -hmm. you take that seed mm -hmm. out of this corrupted world system good teaching and you plant that Amen. in a system without corruption mm -hmm. so you can expect your harvest mm -hmm. to come without corruption that's right you won't have to lie mm -hmm. you won't have to uh, manipulate do behind the door mm -hmm. yeah. manipulate i tell you manipulation is mm -hmm. as witchcraft yes and if you're caught up in that you need to stop it yes just right now just make up your yes. mind i'm not going to manipulate somebody to get something mm -hmm. that's wrong and that's as the sin of witchcraft mm -hmm. so we don't do that mm -hmm. but we take something that is subject to this corruptible system mm -hmm. that we live in mm -hmm. and we plant it in an incorruptible system yeah, yeah. come on now teach and it. We can expect <laughs> because God says, I magnify my word, word above, above my, my own name. name. Mm -hmm. Then we can expect for a harvest to be attached mm -hmm. to that. Mm -hmm. We don't just, well, there it goes, it's gone. I wonder how I'm going to pay my phone bill. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay your phone bill Amen. and more. Amen. And more. Well, we're going to close for today, but we're going to come back. Yes. And we're going to continue our study in the enforcers. Now, remember. Living from the inside out mm -hmm. means you have a conscious awareness of the kingdom of God within you, and you allow those principles to dictate to you decisions you make. Mm -hmm. The things that you do, even as to the timing when you do certain things. You know, Jesus was very particular when he did things, mm -hmm. when he you know, a certain time when yes. he did things. He didn't just um, run and heal J. Iris' dog. He mm -hmm. didn't just drop mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. when, um, what's his Lazarus. name, was in the tomb. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. He didn't just say, oh, mm -hmm. wait, I got to mm -hmm. go right now. He didn't let the cares of this world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nor an emotional relationship mm -hmm. that he had with them. Mm -hmm. He was a friend. Mm -hmm. He didn't let that pressure influence him to get out of God's timing. Yes. Because faith has really very little to do yeah. with the time realm that we live in. No. Faith is mm -hmm. a realm that is above and yes. outside of time. Yes. So we can't ever let ourselves get caught in the when. Mm -hmm. Well, when's it coming? Mm -hmm. Faith is now. Mm -hmm. Faith is now. And I like what you said because you have 
the Kronos time and the Kairos time. Yep. Kairos time is outside of man's yes. time because God is outside of the yes. time realm. Before there was time, he was. Yes. So, so I, I like what you, this ministry because if you look at Jesus' life, even though he was the son of God, he was anointed by God. By God. He ministered as a man anointed by the Holy Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit, and he only heard and did what he saw the Father tell him to do from the inside out. Yes. We got to be imitators of him. Yes. Well, we'll catch you the yeah. next time. Remember, living inside out ministry. Yes.